Infinity Pool is the newest horror movie that is out on the big screen for you guys to go and check out right now. I have just watched it. There is so much to talk about when it comes to this movie. I'm going to do my absolute best to not talk about any spoilers because I feel like this movie, there is so much in it that you just want to talk about because this is one of the wackiest, weirdest movies I've ever seen in my whole entire life. So the whole gist of the story is there is a couple who are on holidays at a resort and they come upon another couple. And when James gets caught up with them, he makes a decision that he's going to change his life forever. Now, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on Infinity Pool, but let me know yours down below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe. And let's talk about Infinity Pool. You know, James, do you worry they got the wrong man? Okay, so Infinity Pool, the latest horror movie that is out on the big screen. Look, I went in this completely blind. I hadn't even watched a single trailer. I had no idea what this movie was about. All I knew was Alexander Skarsgård and Mia Goth were in it. And I thought Mia Goth was absolutely superb in X and Pearl. So I was naturally like, yo, I just want to see her do another horror movie and see how good she is. And then Skarsgård is just, he's great as well. And I absolutely love him. So I was like, yes. I'm there. So I sat down and I watched it. Look, when the movie finished, this was my initial thoughts after it. What the fuck did I just watch? Like, honestly, what did I just watch? This this was absolutely bonkers crazy. Now, a warning, if you guys don't like gruesome horror stuff, this is definitely not the one for you. If you guys have any form of epilepsy or anything like that, definitely do not go watch this one because there is flashing lights everywhere. This is just a crazy movie. Now, there is so much here to unpack. Now, I'm going to start off with some of the positives. The performances are absolutely fantastic. Mia Goth. Oh my word, she is absolutely superb. She is so frightening in this movie while also bring that whole sexy vibe at the same time like she just feels psychotic but you kind of like she's actually quite sexy in this movie and that's i feel like what they were trying to do and it makes it so much more unstable when you're watching it you're like i don't know if i trust her or not and you can just see it in her performance like she brings it all the time like she is so good there's this one scene where she stops a bus Man, was she insane in that. Like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, bruh, that is just the worst nightmare a guy could ever come up with. Is it a woman like that that is just unhinged? But it's absolutely fantastic. I thought Alexander Skarsgård was absolutely superb as well as James. I thought he really brought it and brought out that character, shifting from one thing to another because there's something that happens in this movie that changes your personality in a way. And I thought he did a fantastic job with that. And I loved it. Absolutely loved those performances. And I thought everyone else was really good as well. They really brought it. And I can't say anything bad about the performances. I thought the performances were absolutely world-class in this movie. Another thing I liked as well is I did like the style that this was made in. I did like how it was shot, the editing... I thought that was all very creative and very awesome to see, and I enjoyed that quite a lot. However, however, when it comes to Infinity Pool, to this day, after I've like sat on it for an overnight, mellowed on it, trying to figure out what this movie was about and the purpose of it and that, I'm still a bit lost. Personally, I'm a lost with this film. I I'm confused. I don't understand it completely. So, it's a bit hard for me to enjoy this movie, given that. Now, there are some really interesting and cool concepts in this movie that I actually liked as well. Like, when it comes to the actual Infinity Pool itself, that was a really cool idea and a really cool concept. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, now what is going on here? And I guess it's supposed to be ambiguous to, there's a thing that happens when it comes to the Infinity Pool that sort of is ambiguous and you got to try and I guess make it for yourself like make your idea of what is going on here and I thought that is a clever way to do that and that theme with the whole infinity pool was actually quite interesting and I just wish 
we expanded upon that a bit more. That kind of felt like it was pushed to the side and we really focused on James's relationship with Mia Goth's character more so than anything else. Which is a shame because I thought all that cool idea with the Infinity Pool was just swept aside. And it wasn't really a forefront to the whole movie. I thought that was going to have more of an impact, but it doesn't really. Which is a bit of a shame for me. Now, there are a lot of disturbing scenes in here. Like, there, I mean, this is brutal. There is a scene where Skarsgård's character is punching someone. And you're just seeing his eye, just like his skull and eye and stuff like that start to fall off and everything while he's punching him on the ground. It is violent. This movie is absolutely violent. There is a lot of blood. There is a lot of gore. And there is this one scene in this movie, like an execution scene, that is absolutely riveting at the same time as disturbing. Now, that that is a good thing because when you're riveted, but you're disturbed at the same time, that feels like you're getting the horror element right there because I want to feel like, yo, this is riveting. I don't want to take my eyes off it, but I also want to be like, yo, man, this is, I just don't want to look because it's so disturbing. And that's what the director does really, really well is he mixes the horror elements, the disturbing horror, shock horror elements with the suspense and thrill and engagement side of it. I thought he did that really, really well. And it kept me, you know, trying to figure out what the hell was going on in this movie. Now, there is this insane orgy scene as well in this movie that I feel like we're borderlining getting to pornography almost in movies now. Like, this scene is borderline pornography. It really is. Like, I mean, it's insane. And it is a disturbing scene as well. Like, there are some imagery there that is disturbing. I will, I like the idea that he was trying to do when they're on the, like, the, the drugs that they're doing. They're hallucinating. And I like that, this idea of the way that he edited and shot that with the different colors, with the different camera angles and the quick, sharp, here and there edits going on. I like that. And it felt, I felt like I was sort of on those <laughs> drugs as well, which is pretty insane. But yeah, like. Makeup, visual effects, absolutely fantastic. But story-wise, I just felt like it fell flat for me when it came to the storyline. And that because because maybe I don't 100% get it. I don't understand the whole concept and idea of it. The ending to me was weird and wacky and just... I don't 100% understand what the ending was about. So if anyone can tell me about more about this movie, like, what are your views? What did you take away from this movie? What is your like idea of what this movie is about. I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. Maybe that might open it up for me a bit more because there might be something I missed or something like that because there's so much going on in this movie that you're trying to work together that I might have missed something that you guys picked up. So I would love you guys to help me out when it comes to this movie. Help me understand it more because maybe there is a deeper line meaning here that I'm missing that could actually enhance it for me. So let me know in the comments below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.